Today we're going to look at something kind of unusual. It's uh, also a steel boat, just like we looked at last week. But uh, this one's a real ocean-going, go-anywhere boat. It's a Canadian-built boat, and uh, a beautiful thing at that. It's a Colvin Saugeen Witch. Look at that. You want to go old school? We're going old school. I will say that the people that own this boat were hardcore sailors. It's a serious boat for that reason. galvanized hardware on her rigging. The rigging's all stainless wire, but again it's all done very traditionally. You can see these uh, turnbuckles here are all galvanized. It really is a, a go anywhere boat. It's a ground tackle, there's a windlass on board, and uh, there's a CQR on the bow. I think Fisherman's Anchor here on the stern. Lots of heavy chain. Maybe Davids on the back here with a block and tackle. Bark sails. Look at that. Well, if you ever wanted something that was going to stand out in a crowd, this boat is one of those things. Thomas Colvin, I believe his name was, was uh, one of those designers that primarily worked in steel. Colvin boats were typically designed in the old school way. So they were designed to be built by the owner. Uh, quite often um, someone would buy the designs or there were some people who built just hulls and decks and sold them to people as well. But uh, these boats were, you know, low headroom, uh, sort of a, a narrow boat, a very long boat. This is a 40, 40 some foot boat. Uh, it's gaff rigged. So uh, very old school. It's uh, it's a catch as well. So it's got a head sail, a stay sail, a mainsail, and a mizzen at the back, and all the associated sails uh, that go in between them. Uh, it's really a, a departure from what we've looked at in the past. These boats are very very hardy. They typically are fairly low to the water, not a lot of freeboard, and they're very heavy, full keels, very slow but they're meant to be safe and this boat I mean safe is the one thing you can say about it
it does have wooden spars which are uh, see, they seem to be in good condition uh, they need a bit of a scrape and a repaint uh, the decks a little bit you know it's been sitting under a tree for a while in storage the couple who had the boat came back from the Bahamas put it on the hard and then they've gone on with their lives now the boat's sort of not been used uh, but it's not been neglected in any way it's just not been used it is full of stuff right now I know you've kind of got to overlook the, the, the debris that's here but they were working on various little projects on it and everything just got kind of set aside and they've uh, they've gone, uh, gone on to other things it does have a heater in it, it's a diesel heater and it has a, an oven, a two burner stove with an oven uh, propane I believe and uh, it's got a little uh, MD2 Volvo diesel engine in it so Volvo, you know, name brand, it's a, a shaft drive with a big three blade prop on it it does have a chart plotter, it has a VHF radio has a stereo system on board with a CD player and has a refrigerator I mean there's so many things on this boat that you'd want to see on a big ocean going you know Voyager uh, but it just needs a little bit of elbow grease now normally a boat like this would be you know a forty thousand dollar boat I want to say Canadian so about thirty five thousand US typically if they were in good condition they'd be, a, be in about that range it needs a really good cleaning and beyond that very little uh, just a bit of uh, paint touch up and varnish touch up so a fairly simple uh, boat to prepare for a voyage and it really is all ready it's got you know all the amenities are here in one form or another and it uh, it's never been abused it's never been sunk it's never had water down below the bilges are dry the hull's been very well cared for and the deck it is a massive boat and I know I know the couple that own this boat and I'll say that uh, in the years we've seen this boat in action it has been one of the most striking boats you'd ever see uh, they would pull into a marina and draw a crowd every time uh, it just looks like an old scooter and uh, for that reason it's very very uh, very very appealing the boat's called Witchcraft she's all black uh, the bottom coat uh, the anti-fouling black as well as the top sides uh, the decks are all of a cream color and uh, yeah what you see is what you get like she's uh, she's sitting in a yard on the hard ready to be launched uh, the sails are still bent on but they've got covers on them and they're sort of the old workboat sails as well so they're very very pretty um, all the blocks are wood like there's so many cool things on this boat and none of it's really rotten I mean it's just it's dirty and needs a it's a good going over so maybe this will be the boat for you I don't know but if I was a bachelor it'd be a boat for me I'll tell you that it's a little lacking in headroom I might add too if I stand up I can stand up but I'm my, my neck is bent here you can see sort of trying to stand up in the boat so I'm six foot three so I'm quite a bit taller than most. The owner stands up in here. So interesting boat. It's got to be for the right person. I mean, it's very traditional. And I want to say something else too about this boat. That despite the fact that it seems very complex, this boat actually has uh, been set up to single hand. So you'd have no real trouble if you were uh, a capable sailor. You'd have no real trouble maneuvering this thing on your own. It is long, but I, I'm going to guess it's like 35 feet, 34 feet on deck. Uh, but then it's got the sprit on top of it, so you end up being over 40 feet long. It's got dinghy davits on it, and a dinghy. Uh, the outboard is not here any longer, but uh, you'd be easy enough picking up an outboard. So. That's where we're at, anyway. An interesting boat.
Witchcraft is rigged as a gaff catch with a club-footed staysail and Yankee-cut jib. The well-draining decks, high bulwarks, fine entry, and very full keel make this boat a real ocean voyager. message us on our Facebook uh, Messenger and uh, we'll get you in touch with the owner. He's looking to sell this and uh, he's pretty reasonably priced as well so you know perfect boat for a young couple with a bit of elbow grease you could have this thing looking like a million bucks. Beautiful boat. Well if you want to see more of these backyard boat finds you can always uh, join us by subscribing. Click the little button down below and hit the bell and we'll be sure and notify you when the time comes. It looks like next week we're going to have another backyard boat find and then we'll be digging into some of the summer work. And it is almost summer. <laughs> Getting closer every day. So, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again. you could join us. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, oh. Glad you could join us. Talk to me.